Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor. Today we are going to do a hands-on session and I'll show you how you can securely use external IDs for AWS accounts owned by others. So uh, we'll, we'll, I'll walk you through of using external IDs in AWS while assuming role, but let's look at the uh, some of the description first. When third parties require access to your organization's AWS resources, you can use roles to delegate access to them. For example, a third party might provide a service for managing your AWS resources. With IAM roles, you can grant these third parties access to your AWS resources without sharing your AWS security credentials. Instead, the third party can access your AWS resources by assuming a role that you create in your AWS account. An external ID is uniquely, is to uniquely associate with the role. The external ID can be any identifier that is known only by you, okay, and the third party. For example, you can use invoice ID between you and the third party, but make sure you do not use something that can be easily guessed, okay. Like the name, phone number, or any, any similar normal word that can be easily guessed. Okay. You must specify these IDs when you define the trust policy for the role. The third party must provide this ID when they assume the role. For more details uh, about external ID, I'll walk you through the in the next slide. And uh, this is also done to resolve the confused deputy problem. So this is the use case we are gonna look at. Okay. So this is my account B. Okay, where I have this role defined. Okay, so this role allows this, uh, you know, account A to upload objects to AWS bucket, okay, S3 bucket. So what it does is AWS account A will assume the role and uh, while assuming the role, it's going to give up all uh, existing roles and uh, it's going to assume this role and upload the object to S3 bucket, okay. So let me just open my AWS management console and walk you through the demo. All right, so this is my account where, you know, my S3 bucket resides. Okay. And uh, as you can see, this is, uh, this is the kind of the trust relationship. It's established over here okay so uh, this is the account id of the account who is going to assume the role all right we don't have any external id defined all right okay <clears throat> so i am logged into the console so i'm firing the command aws sts assume role and this is the role arn okay of the role in my uh, account where the S3 bucket resides. Okay. So this is the role I want other accounts to use and assume it. Okay. So without the external ID, currently I don't have an external ID configured. So let me give it a try without the external ID. Okay. As you can see, it is returning the response correctly over here. All right. Now we'll go back to that page and add the external ID. All right. So we are going to edit this trust policy and we are going to add a condition over here, which says string equals STS colon external ID colon. We, we, we are not going to keep ABCD, but let me keep some invoice IDs, for example. So double two nine eight. Let's keep this invoice ID. Okay. So this is only known to the customer and the management account. Okay. I'm gonna update the policy now. Now I'll go back to this and fire the same command. So it should deny. It should not allow me to assume this rule. As you can see, we are getting access denied. 
so this is the expected behavior okay now uh i'm gonna pass the external id over here iphone iphone external id i'm gonna pass the same invoice id let's give it a try as you can see it worked right so this is how you can <coughs> provide a secure protection uh, an extra level protection to all your aws accounts which you have shared you know to external identities okay so this this uh, way you can secure your accounts so that's it guys thanks for watching this video do like and subscribe my channel thank you